Y'all get ready. Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you're doing good today. So I wanted to come on here and talk about the whole Sierra Gates situation. A lot of you guys have been sending me this video. So if you guys do not know, what went down yesterday is that Sierra from the Glam Shop, she's also on Love & Hip Hop ATL. Um, Basically, she took to social media and she posted the following. She says, North Atlanta High School allowed an adult to come into the school today and fought my 14-year-old daughter, watch Channel 2 News. Something has to be done about this. Our kids are not safe in school. So that's what she posted. Um, So the news was there. This was a viral story yesterday. But of course, I want to see how everything played out. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the news clip right now. I want you guys to check this out. And I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. The questions at a local high school after an adult got inside of the building and fought a student. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jovita Moore. And I'm George Estevez. Let's take another look at that video. We want to point out we blurred all the faces of everyone involved. I mean, how do you describe this? It happened inside a bathroom at North Atlanta High School today. A spokesperson for Atlanta Public Schools said they will discipline the students involved here. Channel 2's Matt Johnson is live in Northwest Atlanta, where the district also has questions. Matt. Here at North Atlanta High School, the investigation is still going on, but what we know now is that just today there was a fight inside of the bathroom on campus and that the district says a student helped her mom get onto the campus so they could team up and attack a 14-year-old together. How could this really happen at school? Sierra Gates has a lot of questions and frustration about how a parent helped attack the reality star's daughter at North Atlanta High School. I was just heartbroken. Like, I've literally been crying all day. In my head, I'm thinking, how did the mom get inside of the school? Video that Gates and her attorney provided appears to show how a student in a gray shirt is joined by her mother to team up against Gates' daughter. They say it happened Wednesday during the lunch hour inside of a bathroom after the two students had already had an argument earlier in the day. Attorney Adama McKinnon says witnesses captured the video that's being investigated by Atlanta Public School Police. The injuries were caused by the parent. A black eye and has scratches and contusions all along the side of her face and the back of her head. We reached out to APS and a spokesperson told us that, quote, the parent was inappropriately provided access to the building by the student. An investigation is ongoing. That's a severe concern. It should not only be for my client, Ms. Gates, but also other parents of students who attend North Atlanta High School as well. For Gates, she wants everyone held accountable, including the school. To see that her safety is not assured at school is very scary for me. Now, discipline is expected to be handed down by the school district. They also tell me that criminal charges could be possible down the road, but that depends on the results of the investigation. Live in Northwest Atlanta, Matt Johnson, Channel 2 Action News, Night Beat. Going to school to help your child fight is not exactly the way to do it, Matt. Thank you. Now, going to your kid's school, you know how much security there typically is. We looked it up, and before any parent gets inside of an Atlanta public school, they are supposed to sign in at the school's front office, and that's where they get a visitor's badge, and they are supposed to wear that badge at all times while inside of the school and on school property. Now, we want to give you a closer look at this video to actually show you what happened. We actually froze it here to show you the girl in the blue pants. Now, she's actually a student, right? Now, the woman next to her with the long black hair right there, that's her mother. Atlanta Public Schools said any student involved will get disciplined, but get this, there's also a chance for criminal charges to be filed in this case as well. All right, so you guys just watched that disturbing news clip, and as of just a few hours ago, it's been announced that the mother of the girl that came up to that school, her name is Trian Ponder, she's been arrested, and right now she faces counts of battery, disrupting a public school, contributing to the delinquency of a minor. She was granted a $4,000 bond, but she didn't have the money, so she's remaining in custody until Friday night. So she's still in jail right now. So this entire situation is really crazy, but I want to hit at this from a different angle, okay? Some of y'all may agree, some of y'all may disagree, 
But I notice a lot of people are not talking about the obvious. A lot of people are saying, oh, my God, this is so messed up. A young girl was jumped by somebody's mother, which I definitely agree with 100 percent. There's never an excuse or reason for a grown adult to put their hands on a child, period, point blank. So let me put that out there first and foremost. I don't agree with the mother's actions. If your children want to get into fights and all that stuff, it sucks as a parent, but kids are going to fight. There's no excuse for doing that at all. Now, her daughter is 14. Her name is Paris. And so there has been a lot of other stories coming out now on social media that her daughter was not as innocent as Sierra is trying to make it seem. Now, Sierra owns a glam shop. She does a lot of stuff with eyebrows. Very talented woman. She was a teen mom. She was able to turn everything around and, you know, make a name for herself in Atlanta. She has her shop. She's on the show. But being on that show, you see a lot of Sierra's attitude. You see Sierra being quick to fight, you know, talk down to people about her having money and, you know, her being a shop owner and, you know, other people being broke. Like Sierra's attitude on the show says a lot. I want you guys to just go ahead and watch these few clips and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. What's up, oh, hey, hi. Crystal, look at her, ain't she Beautiful. bad? Thank you. Real bitches is in the building. This is K-Bachi's girlfriend. Oh! What's up, Keely? Clearly, Sierra's playing some kind of game, but she's out of her league here. Oh. Who are you? Oh, this is Shooter's oh, girlfriend, D. Shooter? Who yes, is girl? Shooter. Who is that? Shooter. Oh, the man who helped you wear the necklace of Sierra maybe was going to check her. I ain't think where I walked through was going to go down. Whatever you say, because at this point, I take you as a joke. I really came here trying to be nice to you, but I don't even care about sparing you right now. Because your the one who came and touched me. Yeah. You don't want to pay me, your n don't pay. You can't keep hiding from the truth. And I stacked up all the money, and I don't need the glam shop, because guess what? None of y'all ain't going to do to me. Punk ass bitch. Find a business that pay you, bitch. That's why you ain't got no money now. Talk about the business that pay you bitch that's why you ain't got no money now Talk all right so you guys just saw those clips there and what i want to say is this is that a lot of times the imagery and the energy that we put out there you know it's all fun it's for a check it's for loving hip-hop it's just you know it's it's bringing more attention to my business it's putting my name out there it's making me a brand on instagram you know just whatever the reason is that people go on to these shows and behave in this manner right but what people don't understand is that that type of energy manifest is you have a lot of young girls who watch Love and Hip Hop. They watch the Real Housewives of Atlanta and they take on those personas. They think that is how you're supposed to handle your problems. When somebody says something you don't like, you're supposed to pop back, smack them in the face with a person. They bet not even try and do nothing. They bet not say nothing to you. So it's like we're not talking about the big picture. This is the energy that the mother puts out there. So it makes me question if that's the energy that you're putting out there to the world. What is your daughter doing at school? How is she talking to these other kids at school? How's her attitude? How's her energy? Because this is not a private school. This is a public school. It's in a better part of Atlanta, but it's not a private school. So being that it's a public school, you're going to have kids all different walks of life, different income brackets and things like that. From what I've seen of her daughter, beautiful girl, but the girl is, you know what I'm saying, slayed to the gods. Hair done, I don't care if it's braids, if it's a lace front, nails done. Her daughter is gorgeous. She looks a lot older than 14. So if she's going to school looking glammed up every day, I'm sure her daughter is, you know, rocking her Chanel bags and her Louis bags and all types of stuff because, you know, that's her mother's stuff. And, you know, as teenage girls, we like to, you know, get into our mother's, you know, 
outfits and purses and things like that. I wonder how her attitude is in the school because I have to question a lot of things for a parent to come to a school to sneak into the school to fight somebody's child. There's some holes missing in this story. Okay. I don't see a parent risking her livelihood, having her reputation be out there, getting a mugshot, everybody knowing who she is. There has to be more to the story. And so from what I'm researching, from what I'm seeing, there's articles coming up and saying that her daughter may have been the aggressor and the bully. Okay. So let me go ahead and read to you guys this article. They're saying, according to sources whose children were allegedly, whose children allegedly attend North Atlanta high school, Paris Gates is a troublemaker and thinks she's bad and rich and has a stank attitude. Now, this is according to ashowbiz.com. New details surrounding the fight between Paris Gates and a student's parents have emerged online. It's a little different from what her mom, Sierra Gates, was explaining. According to the report, the 14-year-old teenager is the bully at school and apparently tried to have six girls jump her friend before the latter's mother came to rescue her and attack Paris. One source whose children allegedly attend the same school as Paris told Gossip of the City that Paris told her friend to come to the bathroom so they could jump her, knowing it would go down. The pal called her mom for help. If your child was about to get jumped by six girls, any parent would have come swinging. Sierra wants attention in a storyline, the insider claimed. Sources continued. In fact, most of the kids said Paris is a troublemaker and she thinks she's bad and rich and has a stank attitude. Now that's the facts. It's a video showing the girls trying to jump her. And then they go on to say this is very different from what Sierra was telling the news um, because she insists that her daughter was not the aggressor. So once that information came out and people were confronting Sierra, like, okay, well, now we're hearing that your daughter was trying to set this girl up. Because if you look in the video, besides the mother, there's several other girls in the bathroom. It's just not Sierra's daughter, the girl and the mother. There's at least three other girls in there, plus the person recording. So there's several people in this bathroom. So it makes me feel like what was really going on? Did these girls come to jump this girl? Were they all aware of a fight? Something in there's just a lot of holes in the story. Anyway, Sierra takes the Instagram to refute everything. And this is what Sierra is saying. Sierra is saying my daughter was not the aggressor. I got a text from my baby at 10 a.m. saying, Ma, this girl keeps harassing me on my IG and text saying that she wants to fight. She also called her dad. I told her to try to avoid it and tell someone, and I'll be there as soon as I get off work. I literally was getting off work in an hour. At noon, I got another call from my baby screaming, saying, Ma, the girl and her mom are in the bathroom trying to fight. I asked to speak to the parent to try to reason so she wouldn't hit my baby. Two minutes later, the phone dropped, and the lady and her daughter was attacking my baby. North Atlanta High, number one, the adult should have never been able to walk into a school unattended. I'm scared for my child and the other children's safety. Number two, the school let the lady run off school grounds with a clear getaway after attacking my child. Three, I had to raise hell just to get a police report. And when I finally got the report, they didn't even want to put in the report that it was battery to a minor. So yes, I'm very upset. I am a mother first and I would never put my hands on someone else's child. And I chose North Atlanta High thinking it was one of Atlanta's best schools. And they allowed my daughter to be attacked by an adult. I'm heartbroken and very upset. As a mother, it's taken everything in me to keep it civil. I truly understand this is a test from God. Y'all keep me in y'all's prayers. Thanks to my attorney at Adama-esque for always having my back. So that's what she wrote. And then she also went on to say, Jealousy is dangerous. It is as cruel as the grave. I'm so scared of that jealousy spirit. I'll continue to kick it with my best. I'll continue to kick it with my best. Y'all women are crazy. If I've ever called you my friend, I'll never do bad or wish bad on you. I'll never do anything to stop your money. I'm not jealous. I don't even know where to start to be a hater. That's on my life heart. So she's definitely going through some things. And then she, last but not least, she went on to post um, from Justice for Black Teens. And they were basically reiterating what happened to Sierra's daughter. And she was basically thanking them. So this entire situation is insane. But I definitely feel like there's more to the story. 
And I also feel like, you know, as parents, we have to watch the way that we carry ourselves, especially on national platforms. And you can say, well, I don't watch Love and Hip Hop. You may not watch it, but obviously there's millions of people who watch the show, okay? And the way that a lot of ourselves, who are adults, who are parents, carry ourselves on these shows, it's not a good look. Because, again, young girls are the biggest consumer of this show. And this behavior is being normalized for them to think this way. I mean, she's not the only mother on reality television. Candy has a 16-year-old daughter. Now, Riley may not be able to make ice. She may come off a little bit ditzy and spoiled. But at the end of the day, you've never heard Riley out here fighting, Riley out here in a bunch of mess. But again, look how Candy carries herself, okay? Candy's not out here fighting and throwing blows and, and doing all types of stuff on television. So I think that that energy that Sierra sometimes puts out there... I would not be surprised if her daughter is emulating that same energy at school. And I'm sure she probably has haters just because her mother's on TV, her mother's Instagram famous, her mom has a shop, and they have money compared to a lot of the kids at that school. So I'm sure she naturally probably gets hate, but then it's like, how is she responding to that hate? How is she responding to that negativity? And that's my question. You know, so the whole situation is sad. There's no reason for an adult, period, I don't care who you are, to come up to a school to go fight another child, okay? When the daughter caught the mother and said that she was going to be jumped, what the mother should have done is go straight to the school and talk to the principal and try and handle it. You don't get yourself involved in children's bullshit because getting yourself in children's bullshit now has you out here with a mugshot and people looking for you. You know, so I just hope that people take this as a learning lesson on both ends. You know, what I'm saying that this is not OK behavior, but I also have to keep it real when I say I feel like there's more to the story. I just don't see a mother coming up there to go fight a child if she didn't feel like her child was in intimate danger or, you know, at risk of getting really hurt. You know, I feel like there's just more to the story. That's just me not excusing the mother that went up there. But something with this whole story is very, very convoluted. And like I say, when I see the way the mother behaves on television, that makes me feel like, well, what is her daughter doing at that school? How is she treating other people? Is she walking around with that type of attitude? And from what people are saying that, that's how her daughter behaves. So I don't know. It's just going to be very interesting to see how this plays out. But Atlanta definitely needs to tighten up. There's no excuse for anybody to be in to be in a school where the staff has no idea that they're there. That is scary. What if that woman came up there with a gun or a knife or, you know, hurt somebody or killed somebody? This is not OK. So I definitely hope that there's some safety measures that end up being in place because of this story. But I think at this point, if she keeps having issues with her daughter at this school, she might want to pull her out and put her in private school. That might be a better place for her daughter. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning Sierra from the glam shop um who's also on love and hip-hop atlanta how do you guys feel about this story in general and do you agree with me that you feel like there's more to the story and there's some things missing like the whole story just does not really make a lot of sense and then do you agree with some of the sources that are coming out and saying that sierra's daughter is the aggressor and she's the one who has the you know attitude kind of like her mother on reality television and then also last but not least do you agree that sometimes the energy that we put out there especially on these shows that it's affecting a lot of these young girls because they're emulating the same thing that they're seeing on television as opposed to really trying to resolve the issues that they have with other people they're quick to just fight and throw things and go back and forth and you know be disrespectful so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping don't forget to hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the thumbs up and last but not least don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you can be down with the notification squad all right deuces